Hi, thanks for tuning in today. If you've invested a considerable amount of money in a Bible, you're going to want to know what's the best way to market, highlight it. So I've got, I went on Amazon and just Google searched Bible highlighters. There's several different brands. I've got a Sharpie brand, the uh, Zbright um, brand, the, um, this is just called Bible Highlighters. Um, this is um, Mr. Pen Bible Safe Highlighters. And then if you Google search, um, or Amazon search rather, uh, best you know Bible highlighter, you might see this one too. So we're gonna actually test these out um, and just kind of see which one is actually the best one. I've got a thin line Bible we're gonna test this out on. And um, you know, I'm at the end of this video, I kind of want you to uh, see which one's gonna be the best for you. And um, I'm tempted to think that all of these are gonna perform pretty well, um, but we'll take a look and we'll see. So just stick with me and we'll find out. Okay, for our test today, we're going to use this King James Version Ultra Thin Reference Bible by Holman. Um, I thought it would be a good one because the pages of necessity have to be pretty thin on these um, thin line Bibles. Uh, so we'll see which one kind of uh, performs the best as far as bleed through and things like that. So I'll probably need to get some tabs or something to kind of keep up with which page. So we're going to highlight quite a bit. Um, of a page to kind of see which one performs best. And since all of these sort of have a, uh, a yellow, we're going to start out with the yellow and kind of just see how it performs. And I'll kind of make a tab uh, for each one of these to kind of keep track of which pages we're doing. <laughs> representatives and this mr. pin Bible highlighter is a uh, it's a gel so I didn't realize that but this is a, a gel kind of highlighter so we'll just highlight a good section here <laughs> That's our Mr. Pin one. So we've got that one. Then let's go to our uh, Z Bright. This is also a gel. We'll highlight a big section with it. Okay. The tip on these, the uh, Mr. Pin tip is a little finer than the uh, Sharpie gel, but uh, let's see how that goes. All right, there's that one. Okay, so we're gonna check all of these for things like bleed through. Um, so now let's check our uh, Zbrite um, yellow. Uh, okay, so I, I messed up here. I'm gonna have to change my tabs. So the one we just did was the Sharpie gel. So we'll put that there and we'll put the Zbrite tab here. All right, so here we go. The neat thing about this one though, um, is it has a fine tip too. So if you're trying to highlight things, 
that are small, it also has a fine tip. So that's the yellow on the uh, Seabright. Okay, so our next brand is the actual brand that's called Bible Highlighters. All right, so we'll take the yellow out of this uh, Bible Highlighters. I'm wondering what the tip is there. Oh, okay, this is also a gel. Okay, again, I did not anticipate that, but we'll highlight a nice section there. Oh, this is nice and bright. You can tell a difference between this one and the other gel ones. Um, but yeah, it actually goes on quite easily. And these tips at the end, that's for uh, feeding more of the gel out or in. The other ones have that feature too. So there we go on that one. So just so that we, you can see what we've got so far, here is the Mr. Pin Sharpie, um, the Bible Highlighter brand. These three are gels, and this is the uh, Zebrite or Zebra brand. That's there. And if I can keep from spilling everything, we will go on to our Ibeum and try it out. So we'll get the yellow out here. That's a kind of a big um, highlighter. We'll go to our IBM page and we will start highlighting. <laughs> Let's compare what kind of bleed through we have. Okay, now I am just flipped this IBM uh, over and it's still wet. Um, I'm gonna push it down on this side and see if anything comes through on this page and it did not, so that's good. Um, there's a difference between ghosting and bleed through. Um, I am not seeing any bleed through on that. You could definitely see it's there on the opposite page, uh, but it's not really, you know, bleed through is when the ink comes all the way through the page, and I'm not seeing any places where it did that. So that's good. That's performed quite well. Um, it's a true, um, I mean, it's a, uh, you know, a different shade of, of yellow. Uh, than these other highlighters, which are kind of a yellow-green. Um, so let's compare that with the Bible Highlighter brand, and let's see how it did. Now, to me, this gel one stands out better, this Bible Highlighter, than the Ibeum. Uh, what's interesting about it is, and I'm going to press down here on these. Let's see if... Doesn't look like anything spilled over, but this leaves kind of like a, a tacky feel. So you can even kind of see how it kind of sticking to my finger a little bit. So that leaves kind of a tacky feel, but you can see that compared to the Ibeum, it doesn't come through on the other side of the page nearly as much. So that's kind of neat, but I don't know. I, I don't know about that tacky feel there. Is that gonna come over eventually to this other side? Um, it's not so far, but it's just interesting that tackiness might be a, um, a factor for you. Okay. Now here's the, uh, Zebrite, and, uh, that is just a regular highlighter. And also it's got the fine tip there. And again, it does come through the page. It comes through the page more than the Bible highlighter brand, I think. Well, you know, let's compare those a little bit more. No, I think they're about the same. Uh, so the Zebrite comes through about the same. Um, if you're using the fine tip, it's it's even less noticeable, obviously. Okay, so let's uh, let's look over here. Now the Sharpie gel. This is interesting. The Sharpie gel. It has. Um, by closing it, and you know how I press down on that, 
it has come through and smudged this other page. So that is something that did not happen. Um, at least I didn't notice it with the Bible highlighter, which is also a gel one. So that's interesting. Um, again, it's not real bad. Um, and let's check the, uh, the Mr. Pin one. That's a gel one. It's not as tacky as the other ones. You know, it doesn't stick as well. Maybe that's because it's dried a little bit more. Uh, so we're, we're going to try another color, and we're going to work our way through on the other side of this. Um, so, um, yeah, but on this side of the page, it doesn't come through hardly at all. So that gel is nice for the uh, Mr. Pin one. That worked out good. Like I said, it's not nearly as tacky, and it doesn't uh, come through on this side. So let's try another color, and we'll get a good determination on this. Okay, now we're going to try the color blue. Uh, now, I only had um, this Sharpie one in, um, in yellow. And in fairness, this is not specifically mentioned being used as uh, for a Bible. Uh, but this one, in my estimation, is already out of the running. Um, the way it smudged onto the other page just by closing it, I'm going to go ahead and take this one out of the running. Now, we're left with... Um, two non-gels and two um, gels and we're gonna work on the same way we're gonna start from the other end this time we're gonna start with the IBM and work our way back and uh, we'll just see how these perform and we'll go from there and see which one's the best one at the end of the video don't forget I'm going to uh, tell you which one um, in my estimation is the best one for your money um, and also there's links in the description if you'd like to buy uh, one of these. So this isn't a true but, um, blue. It's more of a, uh, I don't know, turquoise or something like that. But uh, we'll try it on this opposite side of the page. And then we'll just work our way through. <laughs> go back through and uh, see what it looks like on the opposite page okay no that looks great uh, no problems there um, I'm gonna go ahead and close this I'm gonna press down right here and see if it smudges to the other side let's check that out um, and I do not believe it did it does still have a little bit of a tacky feel with that gel, but I am not seeing where it bled through on the other side. Um, there's a couple marks here, but I think that's just where I was um, getting too aggressive with my um, highlighting there. All right, so that this one right here, um, the Mr. Pin, actually, sorry, the Mr. Pin one has performed really nicely right here. So it does have a little bit of a tackiness. Um, but let's see what it stacks up against some of these others, okay? So here's our, okay, Sharpie Gel, we're taking that out of the mix. Here's the Z-Bright one. There is more show through on this um, Z-Bright one. I don't see anything that I would consider bleed through, but you can definitely see, see it more distinctly than you can on the um, uh, Mr. Pin. Um, however, the Mr. Pin does have that little bit of tacky feel. If that's an issue for you, you're not going to want to go with a gel. Uh, this is dry. Um, yeah. So there's no, uh, the, um, this one, the, um, the Zebrite, uh, this isn't bad. Uh, but you're going to see more of the color on the on the opposing page with this one. Okay, so let's look at what how the Bible actual Bible highlighter did. This is this one right here. Um, 
let's see for tackiness how it kind of sticks to your fingers um, compared to the uh, Mr. Pin. I'm going to say they're about the same as, as far as how, um, how tacky they feel. I don't know another word to say that. Um, as far as show through on this one, this is probably just because maybe it's a lighter blue, but as far as show through, um, it shows through definitely less than the, uh, Z bright. Um, see how it does towards the Mr. Pin. I think the Mr. Pin shows through just a little bit more. Um, on the yellow, they're about the same. On the blue, man, they're close. They're both really, really close. Um, Okay, so let's look at our last one, the Ibeum. Um, show through, this is a lighter color, so the show through is um, better. Um, it, there's less show through than I would say on the Zebrite, which is also a non-gel. Uh, but I think that's because of the darkness of the color. No. Yeah, maybe just a little less show through here. Not really seeing anything that I would call uh, bleed through, but you can see on this, on the yellow, it really, um, it really show, it really shows through quite a bit um, more than the Z bright. So we have now eliminated, um, in my estimation, these two right here are out of out of the running i think we're really down now to which of these three brands that you want uh bible highlighter brand mr pin or the z bright so real quickly on the uh, bible highlighter versus the Mr. Pin. If you're looking for a non-gel uh, kind of highlighter, you're going to want to go with the Z Bright, and it's got this nice fine tip here. So as far as non-gel highlighters, uh, this would be the one you want to go with, the Z Bright. Now as far as gel highlighters, I think we're going to have to do a runoff between these two right here. Uh, but as far as um, a non-gel I think you'll go, you'll do really good with this Z Bright. Like I said, I like the really fine tip. Um, these Ibams are kind of big, bulky. Um, not real. <laughs> I don't know if you want to carry that around. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a fan of these that much. But this is really nice, especially because you've got that fine tip. Um, now, it will show through more than your gel. The advantage to this one is that you won't have any kind of tacky feel on your Bible at all. And um, so if you're looking for a non-gel, uh, you won't go wrong with this one right here. But now let's do a runoff between uh, these two right here. <laughs> I think the Mr. Pin is a little less tacky. Yeah, that is, it sticks to your fingers maybe a little less. Um, but they're both pretty close. So on the opposing page, you get about the same result. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press the Bible down. And hope I can find the page I was just highlighting. All right, so what is interesting here is um, the Bible 
highlighter has stuck a little bit to this opposing page. Now that did take me pressing down pretty hard on it, but I did not see that happen with um, the Mr. Pin. I'm gonna try that one more time. Yeah, so if I had to choose between Mr. Pin or uh, Bible Highlighter, I'm going to go with Mr. Pin. So of the gels, I think we've got Mr. Pin versus Zbrite. Now for me, of these two, I would probably use in my Bible the Zbrite. Now, the downside of that is you have to be careful because you're adding an actual, you know, um, I, don't, I don't know if it's an ink or whatever it is. It's going to be more prone to bleed through, <clears throat> and you're going to have more see-through on the opposing page. The advantage, though, is you will not, on this one, you will not have the tackiness, you know, that kind of stickiness that you're going to get with this one. However, this one is... Um, not going to show through as much. Uh, so it's a very hard choice. Um, so, you know, you can't, you're not going to go wrong with either one of these. Uh, for my premium Bible, if I'm going to use one, probably going to go with this one. If the pages are super thin, I've got one Bible that has very super thin pages. Um, I might consider this one. So like I said, it's a hard toss up between Mr. Penn and uh, Zbrite, but I hope this is useful to you, and uh, hopefully I'll get this edited down where it's just not a huge long video.